My father was working in Mombasa, dealing with cargo. We were living in Makupa, within the island of Mombasa. So I don't know what happened. Early 80s, my father was attacked by unknown criminals. He was robbed and he was injured. So he got a, frust a fracture in the head, on off, on off in the hospital. Eventually, my father died in 1889. We were still young. I remember very well, I was in class four. I heard that uh, the case was reported in Makupa police station. I was a young boy. So I went there and asked authority, I want to know a person who killed my dad. We are now in trouble. They used to chase me away. You are a young boy, go away, go away from here. I was like a mad person. I go again. I say, I want to know who killed my dad. So from there now, I did not even get the answer up to date, but uh, something motivated me. I don't fear authority anymore. I can question them. And it's also motivate me to be human rights defender. I want to know now, I want to fight for those who cannot get their rights, those who are vulnerable, like my mom. Uyu ni Francis Auma, nasikia mumeji mobilize huko likoni. Mumeji huko, ukuja kueleza ukweli na hali halisi vile ambavyo tunateswa na askari wa DCI likoni kuhusu hii scooters wa bububu extension. Basi tunakuja mara moja tuko njiani babangu. There was a distress call. The community here is called Bububu in Likoni. They came to my office. Private developers have grabbed this piece of land. They don't understand why every day being arrested by police. So I had to intervene. It's like, a, why constantly harassment? Sikuja hapa kuchochea mtu yoyote. Nimekuja tu kutakmini, nijue mbivu na mbichi, makataya siku saba hivi. Ndiyo nijue. Kama nikisema nikipiga filimbi, tutokeni, tutatoka. Mimi binafsi, nimeshitakiwa marambili. Kwa semu hii ambo ni yetu ambo nimezaliwa. Na nimefanya kesi kutoka 2018, nimemaliza 2022 mwezi wane. The community are crying. They say always they live in fear. They don't know when they'll be evicted. We want to know legally how to go about it. If possible, we'll go to court on their behalf. This is a public interest case. They told me they are ready to come out in numbers. We are going to do a peaceful demonstration within Likoni area. And then from there now we march to the court. Likonia! 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 I'm now over 17 years in this field. I've done al over 200 protests. Sometimes it's like enough is enough. Now I want to hang the boots. I want to leave it. I want to live like any civilian. I want to live like private life. But after Two days, three days, you see violation, like uh, spirit coming, no, 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 no. Uh, it is in me, it is part of me, I cannot stay like, okay, I don't see it, uh, see no evil, speak no evil. To me it's like, no, 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 I intervene. There was a Kenya ferry, there was outcry that if you cross the, the channel in Likoni, Mombasa, you must pay by M-Pesa. We question why, why that way? Why harassing people? Why can't you put it open? We have any, we have other means of payment. Was there public participation in the same? There wasn't. We wrote them later. We said, can we meet stakeholders? We discussed this. They were not listening to us. So two of us, Elif Alif and I, very early in the morning, it was a busy morning. We went there and block. We said, no, we want the authority now to address this issue. <laughs> Police came, the whole lorry, we were arrested, beaten up, and taken to court. We were charged by creating disturbance, but the message reached home. After that, the case is still on. Kenya Ferry called other stakeholders, and now I can tell you, it is open. You can pay through other enemies. You, you're allowed. Sometimes you don't have cash. You, you, you don't have the phone. You can just give money. It is now open. So that one to me is positive. I'm happy that I really assisted many people who could not speak, who could not. They are doing what we are doing. To me, that was positive. Yeah, we are human being. I cannot say that uh, we are perfect. We are human being. We have strength. We have weaknesses. Yeah, sometimes it's too much. 
but uh, you must find a way of re relieving yourself. Uh, I go to social place, I have friends. I forget for quite some time, maybe for one hour, two hours, three hours. I do, I'm coming, I'm, I'm just normal like any other person. So to me, I feel I'm empowered. I feel I can deliberate, I can pass it on to other people. So it's a strength kind of, because people see me as a leader. People see me like a savior. Um, I have mentors like Elef, Alifa. Uh, we also get advice from our senior, their founders, like Maina Kiai. It encourages me. So to me, is a process. I, I believe we can build more Francis Aumas. We can build more Robert Defender. And then my country will be a, a better place than we found it. There'll be respect in terms of rule of law and uh, people respect human rights.